Every morning I let the ducks free to the orchard so they can free range, forage, and get their water. I also let the guard geese out of their goose caboose so that they can protect the ducks against any unwanted varmint. We got the duck house, we got the duck run, we had fencing up but the fencing wasn't that great. I have a lot of work to do today. We free range our ducks and our geese in our permaculture orchard. We've been having some issues with fencing, <laughs> patching up some fencing, trimming some trees, making a system to get ready for the winter and it's all about continually improving our free range setup. We've been free ranging our ducks in the orchard for two years now and we have only good experiences. So this is how we free range our ducks and our geese out here in the orchard. We've put a little bit of thought behind it. The duck house obviously exits onto the orchard. The goose caboose here where the goose live, that exits right here into the orchard also. And they're out here hanging out with the ducks all day long, every day, throughout all of the non-winter months here at the Hidden Spring Farm. There's a couple of great advantages to free ranging your ducks in a treed area like this. This is somewhat of a young orchard that we planted. It's just a mini orchard. There's only 30, 40 trees or so, but it's plenty big enough to house the ducks and the geese. And all this space right here, this is all fenced in so that the geese and the ducks can't wander away. One of the reasons that I really like to free range our ducks and our geese here in the orchard is that there's this big huge apple tree and another big apple tree and this huge oak tree right in this area right here and that's where I put the ducks water. This does two things for me. One, provides ample shade for the ducks and the geese and two, provides protection from aerial predation. We do have hawks in this area. We do have, you know, some falcons and some owls, although owls mostly come out at night. I do believe we have osprey here too, although I know osprey are very aquatic and like to eat fish. I'm not so sure if they'll take a bird, but all the same, it's much better in my opinion to have all these trees around here to provide some protection for the ducks and the geese. You can see we use these little kiddie pools. They seem to work okay. I also use these tiny little water bins the geese use them, the ducks use them, and also this area right here, you can see there's not really a lot of mud. And it's important because you don't really want mud, you want just grass. I find that this system of free ranging the ducks and the geese is very efficient and things don't get muddy. Another great thing is that geese and ducks are flock animals so they generally like to stay together. Very seldom you'll see a goose or a duck going off on their own. They always stick in flocks. The system that I have right here is the duck house is connected to the run and then the run just flows this way into the orchard and it seems to work very good but I've been having problem with some fencing. The geese are watching me like a hawk because they think I'm a predator to the ducks. <laughs> and they're my own ducks. So this whole area here, there's the goose caboose in there. You can see the red. I wanna clear all this and I wanna put some kind of a more permanent fencing so that I can eliminate the use of this poultry netting. This poultry netting served a purpose for us while we get some permanent fencing in and it's still gonna serve a purpose. I'm still gonna use it to contain all of the ducks and the geese in the orchard.
Okay, I finished part A. Got my fencing in. I attached it to the goose caboose and it's here. It's a little bit wobbly, but it's only for geese. You know, they're not gonna be like cows or horses or something. And I got my stakes in and I'll show you the system. I already had this system in place, but it just wasn't working very well. And the geese were constantly escaping. So now I got this fencing set up in such a way that I can use the temporary pool tree netting as a gate and I can swing open the gate and attach it to the door of the duck run on the duck house and that way the ducks have a free path to come out here. Another thing that happens as a result of keeping these animals in your orchard is that they're constantly fertilizing the pasture area here and in addition, the fruit trees. <laughs> and they love it. And you know, you guys may not see it on camera, but this whole area right here where the water is, where the geese and the ducks hang out a lot, that's very green. Way up there where they just go seldom, down there they go seldomly. It's a little bit brown. Now maybe that's because of the water, but it's because of the water and because of the poop. These khaki Campbell ducks are indeed amazing foragers. All day long, they're foraging and foraging, looking for food, looking for bugs, digging around in the grass, looking for something to eat. That's another domino effect of keeping these birds out in your orchard is that they keep the insects somewhat under control. They don't eat every single type of insects. We still have a problem with Japanese beetles attacking our fruit trees. But for the most part, these ducks do an amazing job. And the geese themselves also keep the grass cut down. It's a lot less maintenance I have to do because the geese are keeping the pasture mode for me. It's like having our own little lawnmower system here at the farm. One of my dilemmas that I'm going to have is how I'm going to get water and food to the geese in the goose caboose, because the goose caboose is up here, eh? So I have this one road, and I can clear this with my snow blower, and I'll be able to clear it all the way up to here. But the problem is I'm going to need access to their door, which is on that side. So I'm going to have to clear some of these small trees here and make some kind of a pathway over there, maybe with a gate, so that I can easily have access. And then all this space right here is gonna be snow blowed so that I can walk around easily.
Okay guys, tell me what you think. It's, I told you it was a lot of work today. <laughs> I got this fence perfectly lined up to this wood post and I got a little tiny little fence there. And then we got the gate now. Go through the gate. I got this all laid out with some geotextile to stop the weeds. Got gravel on top, so it's going to be a nice pathway for me. And I shouldn't have any issue in the winter coming through here, just clearing some of the snow and then opening the door and I'll have access inside the goose's run. I'll end up putting the landscape fabric all the way to the entrance of the goose caboose because you can see it's all a pain in the butt and I don't even have access to my stairs because this stuff makes me so itchy. I'm tired today. That was a long day. Let's go through my brand new gate. Close up the gate so the geese don't escape. And I just gotta clean up this fencing here. Because the sun's going down because it's so late because I've been working all day, all the ducks and the geese want to go into their house. And the ducks are down there waiting to go in. I have the gate closed and the geese are coming here to attack my legs. Buggers! Let's put them to bed. Come on guys! It's not a new house, it's the same house! Good job guys! Maggie! Maggie! I got all the other cats, but Maggie was the last one. I'm just gonna put her to bed quick. <laughs> I got all the cats though, thank goodness. <laughs> Maggie! I love these cats. You two happy we found Maggie? Huh, Molly! Good girl. Good girl, Olive. Hey, Molly. How are you, kiddo? Are you guys okay? <laughs> okay, back to what I was doing. <laughs> you know, the ducks always panic whenever I get close to them. And I'm guessing they're going to panic again. They're right here and they're going to freak out as soon as I walk by. But as soon as I open the door and move away, they're going to just go to their home because they're already trained to go to the house. Ducks, let's go, ducks. Two Lugana ducks. Two Lugana ducks. Two Lugana. Two Lugana. Two Lugana. Good job, ducks. It also helps not to feed the ducks during the day because it's their job to forage for bugs and it also makes them hungry by the end of the day so it's easier for you to get them back into their house and put them to bed for the night. It's a heavy duty workout day. A lot of work today but I'm happy I got it done and I'm happy I brought you guys along. I like to keep you guys informed whenever we make some kind of an improvement on the farm. Now we definitely improve that fencing. We're set up for the winter. <laughs> Because basically this road right here, that goes right up to the goose caboose and I shouldn't have any issues snow blowing all of the extra snow instead of me walking through the snow. You know what I'm saying, man? If you're interested in getting ducks and you want to learn everything you need to know about getting ducks, here's a video for you down below. You can keep on watching and follow along.